ChatGPT can now see, hear, and speak. It's basically sentient, guys. Buckle up because this AI just got some major updates and we're gonna talk all about them as well as how you can use it in your life for your use cases. I know, I know, it seems like every day there is some earth-shattering announcement about ChatGPT, but this one is actually very cool because we have vision and voice capabilities. Also, if you're new here, I'm Delia, I'm a software engineer, we talk about tech, so subscribe if you're interested and let me know how you're gonna use these capabilities in the comments because I'm gonna be using them a ton and I'm gonna make future videos about them. But right now, let's just get into what these capabilities are. So we're beginning to roll out new voice and image capabilities in ChatGPT for a more intuitive type of interface by allowing you to have a voice conversation or show ChatGPT what you're talking about. And that's nothing new. ChatGPT could have always been a voice assistant with a little bit of code, but now it's built in natively to ChatGPT. And not only that, but you can talk to it and it can talk back. And it sounds very human. Listen to this. Once in a tranquil woodland, there was a fluffy mama cat named Lila. One sunny day, she cuddled with her playful kitten Milo under the shade of an old oak tree. I mean, that sounds like a real human to me. It's gonna be indistinguishable who's an AI and who's a real human. Am I an AI? I might be. I'm really bad at CAPTCHAs, guys. Also, fun fact, when you do a CAPTCHA, you're actually training AI, so there's no escaping this future reality. Anyway, so you can now use voice to engage in back and forth conversation with your assistant. So instead of typing out, chat GPT fix my code, you can tell it exactly what's wrong with your code in real time, and it will talk back to you like it's your senior developer that you're asking for help for the 47th time today. That's insane, like that's awesome. Speak with it on the go. You can request a bedtime story or settle a dinner table debate. Oh, I'm definitely gonna be settling a lot of debates with ChatGPT. So first, let's talk about the juicy voice features. You can now have natural back and forth conversations with ChatGPT rather than with yourself. It's just like talking to your friend on the phone, except your friend happens to be an all-knowing AI entity with all of the world's knowledge at its fingertips that was created by a company worth billions. That's pretty cool. So this is really great for auditory learners or people with vision impairments. And soon you'll be able to clone anyone's voice in just a few seconds with sample audio. I was already doing this with Descript. I love Descript and I use it for video editing, but now you can do it in ChatGPT. So imagine cooking dinner while Gordon Ramsay berates you on the proper way to cook a steak or getting motivation during your morning run from Arnold Schwarzenegger. The possibilities are endless, but there are some ethical concerns here. For example, obviously impersonating people without consent is very problematic and we don't want more deep fake situations on our hands, but you can imagine how useful this feature is and how quickly you can now learn new things, debug your code, problem solve anything. It just makes things so much easier. And if we're friends, you already know it's very unlikely I'm texting you. I'm either sending you voice notes or doing text to speech. So you already know that, you know, for efficiency, this is gonna improve everyone's efficiency. I'm very excited about it. So to get started with voice, you just have to head to settings, new features on the mobile app and opt into voice conversations. That is so cool. Then tap the headphone button located in the top right corner of the home screen and choose your preferred voice out of five different voices. Hope there's an Australian or British accent guy. The new voice capability is powered by a new text-to-speech model capable of generating human-like audio from just text and a few seconds of sample speech. We collaborated with professional voice actors to create each of the voices. We also use Whisper, our open source speech recognition system to transcribe your spoken words into text. Whisper is really cool. It's trained on a lot of data and it is very good. Next super cool thing, let's talk about vision. So now ChatGPT can see, which is pretty scary. So you can use ChatGPT on one or more images, troubleshoot why your grill won't start, explore the contents of your fridge to plan a meal or analyze a complex graph for work-related data. So this is super cool. You're gonna be able to literally give ChatGPT an image of your infrastructure and tell it to build a website product or whatever based on that image. How mind-blowing is that? We're all gonna be unemployed very soon. I'm just kidding, you'll be fine, but that's kind of crazy, right? Um, you can also use the drawing tool in our mobile app to focus on a specific part of the image. So this is a really good example here. I do not have access to this feature yet, even though I am obviously a Plus member, but as soon as I do, we're gonna do some demos and we're gonna build some things, so stay tuned for that. But check this out, help me lower my bike seat. To lower your bike seat, locate the quick release lever, blah, blah, blah. That is pretty, that is pretty good, guys. I'm pretty impressed with this. So you can even draw on the images. To, you 
You can even upload Figma designs and ask it to write code to turn that Figma design into a website. These are all real things we can do now. So cool. But it is not all sunshine and roses. There are some real privacy concerns here. And ChatGPT does still struggle with faces. So it won't be critiquing your selfies or poking fun at your partner's weird sleeping positions, hopefully. But that's probably for the best. So they are deploying image and voice capabilities gradually. I like this first sentence, OpenAI's goal is to build AGI that is safe and beneficial. So they are building AGI in case anybody was wondering, artificial general intelligence is on the way. I mean, if it can see, hear, and speak, it's pretty close to AGI, guys. It's We're getting very close. Now, we already talked about the voice technology, image input. Here is how they're making vision both useful and safe because, yeah, this is a little bit concerning uh, privacy reasons. You know, there's a lot of things that can go wrong with this. And so we talked about how it can see. We talked about how it can hear and speak back. And now we also have real-time browsing back. And yes, we've had that functionality for a while, especially for Plus members, but it went away and now it's back. Guess who's back? Back again, web browsing's back, tell your friend. So we have reinstantiated the web feature in ChatGPT in partnership with Bing, of course, uh, after it was removed due to misuse. Ooh, scandalous. So now we have up-to-date information from all of our online sources, but this feature is only available for paying plus members right now. So sorry for all of you free users and also only available on the web and not on mobile, but still pretty cool. It can pull current info from the web to give you up-to-date answers. So you can ask it about the traffic on your morning commute and it can check live maps and respond instantly, which is pretty cool. And you can do that through your voice and it'll talk back to you. Oh my God. So now we are tapping into the web's continuous flow of new information with our voices and hearing it back in real time. What a time to be alive. Everybody, guys, we should be so excited about this and also simultaneously a little bit scared. Let me know which one you feel down below in the comments. Are you excited? Are you scared? Are you both? Cause I'm both, but in a good way. So there you have it. Let me know which features you're most excited about. I'm excited to use them all at once. That's kind of my goal right now. And I will be posting lots of examples and experiments to this channel. So, you know, if you are into that, subscribe, stay tuned, leave a comment below with your favorite feature like the video if you would like to support this channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye.